A child who was HIV positive contracted varicella zoster virus that is chickenpox infection. He was started on acyclovir but there was progressive disease due to resistance to the drug. So there is acyclovir resistance. What is the next agent of choice to be used in such a patient? We have four options here. Cedofovir, Gencyclovir, Foscarnet and Famcyclovir. So what is the agent that you are going to use? Now you first need to understand what we are going to discuss here. So we have a acyclovir resistant VZV infection. Remember that acyclovir resistant VZV is very common in immunosuppressed states like HIV. So whenever you have acyclovir resistant VZV, the guidelines are very clear. The drug of choice, the first line therapy in these patients is always starting the patient on foscarnet. What is the regime that we use in these patients? Foscarnet is used in a regime of 40 milligrams per kg per dose intravenously. There is no oral preparation. It has a very poor bio, oral bioavailability. So it is given only IV. 40 mg per kg per dose IV every 8 hourly which is given for 3 weeks. Nelson mentions it slightly differently. Nelson says it is 120 mg per kg per day in three divided doses every eight hourly. So it means the same thing basically. And uh, foscarnet, whenever you are giving, foscarnet is a very toxic drug. The dose needs to be reduced in patients with renal insufficiency. So in renal insufficiency, you need to reduce the dose because in foscarnet, the most common side effect is renal toxicity. It is tubular toxicity which is seen. And in early patients of uh, tubular toxicity, you will find that uh, renal toxicity which is happening that is partially, that is reversible. So early identification and reducing the dose can help in preventing the long term damage to the kidneys by the use of foscarnet. Now what will happen is that many of the patients who are acyclovir resistant VZB, about uh, 5 to 7 percent of these patients will also be resistant to foscarnet. So in case you find that there is foscarnet also not working, that is foscarnet resistance is also present in VZV, then in these patients the alternative is cedofovir. So cedofovir is useful in patients where foscarnet. So in both acyclovir resistant VZV, you can use both foscarnet and cedofovir, both are toxic agents, but the first line agent will always be foscarnet. Only when foscarnet is also not acting or uh, due to renal toxicity you can't use it, then we go in for cedofovir in these patients. So this is, sequence is very, very important. Please add it to your notes for quick revision before the exam. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from PrepLadder.